What's up, everyone? I'm Zach, the Poke Collector, and this is Kayla. Hey! <laughs> I didn't and know what. Oh, <laughs> she did. Oh, it took boy. a second. <laughs> uh, and today we're actually going to be doing going to another local card show. This one I think is a smaller one. Might even only be like four or five Pokemon vendors. We'll see. Uh, but we got fifty dollars, and we're going to try and pick up as many singles uh, just for Sword and Shield Master sets as we can. We're getting close. And probably pick up something sealed too to open at the end. Uh, but first, we got Saturday singles. We have a Sword and Shield promo, beautiful slow poke. Then what do we got, babe? Uh, Virizion. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we got some full arts from Astro Radiance. Uh, that is Luxray. Luxray. Uh, Typhlosion. There you go. Some OGs, can't get them wrong. Yes, Machamp. All righty. Cheryl. Cheryl, beautiful full art. I love the green with her hair. All right, back to Cheryl. Had a little inter interruption from a dog. Beautiful from Battle Styles, I want to say. Yes. Uh, Grab Locked. Oh, this is actually one of the last cards I need for Champion's Path. Uh, I think we have one or two more reverse hollows coming, but we're almost master set. Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh, I love the full art from Vivid Voltage. This one's really cute. In two. Oddish. A beautiful... Tops Chrome. We haven't got one in a while. We need to keep working on it. All righty. We'll see you in the car probably. Here in the car on the way to the card show. I think it's the uh, Chandler uh, Gilbert Phoenix card show. Something like that. <laughs> it's not a big one, uh, but there should be some vendors that we've seen at a lot of other card shows. Some we've seen at card party. Uh, but yeah, I'm, what do you think we should look for, babe? Any sets in specific? I don't know. I do need a lot of the earlier set hits still, you know, like Darkness of Blades, Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield Base, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But then, also gotta get something sealed, and then, you gonna get a card or two, babe? Maybe, we'll see. I'm getting a lot of manga later today, so I probably, I probably won't. If I might get one, we'll see. You but. found a good deal on the Facebooks, uh, picking up, what, 60 manga or so? Yeah, 60 manga. I'm so excited. Just add another 0.2% to what she already has, so it's going to uh -huh. be a good day. <laughs>
Show off the right. the loot. We got the Danny Phantom fanny pack, of course. We got some free oh. tickets to the front row card show. My birthday weekend, yeah. actually. We get to go an hour before everyone else with those tickets. So we're gonna definitely have to have an early weekend, uh, that <laughs> one. Then we also got to open when we get back. We got, let's see, put these together with the right sets. Okay, we got two battle styles, two darkness ablaze, one vivid and one chilling. And then we got a whole bunch of singles, some for the wife. We might take them if we need them. You're cute. And uh, see you back at the pokey room. Welcome back to the pokey room. We, uh, we went and saw a movie after, a nice little Bob Marley biopic, One Love. Uh, but I kept everything in the fanny pack so I wouldn't lose it in the car or get it damaged. Okay, so let's see. We actually got a ton of singles. I think we may have went over by like five or 10 bucks. Uh, I stopped losing track. Um, but what was really cool, we also got these cool tickets for another show uh, from a vendor. So that was really awesome. I like the Pikachu on the ticket. <laughs> That's gonna get us to go for sure. Um, but yeah, these are early access passes to the front row card show in Phoenix. Uh, it's actually my birthday weekend too. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, this gets us in an hour early. So when all the good stuff is still there, look out for a video on that. Not sure exactly uh, yet what we're gonna be doing the video on, uh, but it might be another similar like this, a certain challenge you get a lot of singles. Just nice to fill out the master sets and instead of just ripping so much and getting nothing. Cause that's probably what's gonna happen today with these six packs. Um, but first we'll go through all the singles we got. Let's see, Astro Radiance, Full Art Silene, Full Art Lily Gant, uh, and then hopefully I was able to do a voiceover uh, type video. I still haven't done one, so hopefully you guys just saw me doing a voiceover of all the footage of looking through all the binders. Um, ooh, another Astro Radiance, I didn't even realize. A Shining Fates Bird Keeper. That was a really cute card. It's, couldn't believe I didn't have it yet, so that was an easy pickup. Rainbow from Sword and Shield Base. We got the, I wanna say Bead, maybe Bede. <laughs> My wife said Bidet. I'm like, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna call them Bidet. Uh, a nice Stoutland V full art from Battle Styles. Even though obviously it's just Stoutland V and people hate Battle Styles. Uh, I say ignore all the hate because the colors on this full art is just a really cool card. And there's a lot like that in early Sword and Shield era with full arts. Uh, shout out to Deep Pocket Monster right here with his gold Hound Doom from Battle Styles. This was definitely one of the uh, more expensive cards we picked up for today. They all do, well not all, but a lot of them have prices on them. Uh, obviously we haggled. <laughs> you never pay full price uh, unless you're buying cards from family or something. You always gotta haggle at these places. Uh, we got a Talon Flame V Full Art from Vivid Voltage. Like I said, these Full Arts with that color behind them, that nice blue on this is so, it's very underrated, I think. $2 card, and that was the top pricing, and it's near mint, crazy. Uh, we did get a Full Art Waifu Karina's Focus. Uh, rollerblader, pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, there was only, uh, I, I wanna say four Pokemon booths, maybe even three. Uh, but yeah, they're all tucked in one corner. Ooh, a nice Mimikyu V full art. I forgot we got this uh, from Battle Styles as well, beautiful. Um, but yeah, all, all vendors we've seen before except one new vendor, it was nice to meet, uh, but they all definitely gave us some good deals and got a lot of good pickups. Another full art from Battle Styles, the Corviknight V. Ooh, a gold from Vivid Voltage. Two bucks for a near mint gold from a set where you probably would take a hundred packs at least to maybe pull this. I don't get why they're so cheap, y'all. Um, the rest of these came in top loaders from a different vendor. We got a lot of baby shinies, I think, from Shining Fates. So not, not the new set, but Shining Fates from Sword and Shield era. We're still missing a good handful. Uh, it's a nice Galarian Berserker and a Rookity there. Ooh, I forgot we got another Rainbow. Rainbow Roxanne from Astral. Uh, I have opened a booster box or two and a bunch of other random stuff, but I'm still missing a good handful from Astral Radiance. Uh, luckily, we do have all the alt arts from the Sword and Shield era, except the last one I need to finish my Evolving Skies Master set, the Lethion VMAX, which we did see there, um, but I, could, I couldn't convince the wife to spend 170 bucks on it. Uh, nice baby shiny Yamper, 
a baby shiny Galarian Obstagoon. I think the colors on this one are really cool. I have a feeling my mother, when she was visiting, she showed me she got this shiny on Pokemon Go. It's really cool. My parents are into Pokemon Go, um, so they know a lot more. Ooh, a nice gold Colossal from Darkness Ablaze. Uh, yeah, because they never really were into it when I was growing up. Um, they're like, you know, they knew Pikachu or Pikachu. Uh, so it's just really cool to see them getting into the world, even though it's not the cards. So we have another way to like bond, you know? And then we also got a Toxtricity VMAX uh, Full Art Shiny from Shining Fates. Alrighty, time to get into these six packs. We got two Battle Styles, two Darkness Ablaze, one Vivid, and one Chilling. Uh, got them from one vendor that was selling them all for like three bucks a pack. I think Chilling was four, um, but we bought a handful, so we took a dollar two off. Really good prices, I'd say, for these sets, um, especially since you don't really find them in stores anymore and Chilling Rains start to go out of stores and stuff. Um, and I still need some bulk uh, from most of these sets, not Chilling, but... Uh, so I figured, why not? Just get a few packs to open at the end of the video. We we're mainly going for singles, but always gotta open something. We got a Fromantis, a Remoraid, Sandaconda Reverse, into a non-hollow Mr. Rhyme. And that's gonna probably be every pack, y'all. <laughs> These are all that first half of Sword and Shield era. I mean, just brutal pull rates. Uh, all right, let's check the code card, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, should be at least a hollow. And hey, we might need we might need that hollow. We still need a lot of battle styles bulk, um, even though we got like all the alt arts already, believe it or not, and a bunch of other hits. Uh, and we're still missing a ton of bulk because I just haven't been able to open much battle styles or vivid voltage or whatever. I think I've opened one booster box of each. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. Then random packs here or there. We got a ball toy. Oh, mindful again, back in reverse. And a hollow cherum. We might need it. We might need it. Might not be the worst thing ever, y'all. All right, going into two packs of Darkness Ablaze. This set blows my mind because I think a booster box is over 200 something dollars. But the best hit value wise you can pull is a regular Charizard VMAX. That goes for like 25 bucks. So I don't know how. Ooh, beautiful Tomokazu Flaffy. I love that card. I just don't get why some of these don't have more value. Um, I know people don't like them, but people still collect master sets and hits. And yeah, it's some of these just have no value. Ooh, two Tomokazu for the price of one. A Glenwood Tangle Reverse. This is actually a pretty cool. Uh, I probably need this in reverse, so that's a win. <laughs> Hey, and a rose rainbow. Okay. That's actually really surprising. This is like better than when I open an entire booster box of this. I feel like I don't think I got one rainbow. Well, that's pretty cool. We got a rainbow out of our six pack opening. It's just a rose, but I'm pretty sure actually funny enough. I think I've pulled that specific rainbow from this set before. But if so, uh... It'll be a good trade bait. If not, you'll see me doing a little clip adding it to the binder. I think I'm gonna start doing that now. Not with like singles that I pick up, like all the beginning uh, or all the singles I just showed or when I do Saturday singles. I don't think I'll show those just because you, I'm picking them up specifically and you know I'm throwing them in the binder. Uh, but whenever I pull a hit, I think I'll try to show it on camera putting it in the binder. Just, you know, for fun. See how the master sets are going over the years. We got... Hippopotas, this is one of my mother's more liked Pokemon, so funny. And a Muck, non-hollow. I love Muck, and I may have needed it. It is a rare. I'm missing a lot of the rare bulk, obviously. Um, for a bulk that I'm missing, you're gonna be missing a lot of rares because, ooh, there might be something in here. There might be something in here. Even if just a V, I honestly didn't think we'd get absolutely anything from six packs. So the fact we got a rainbow, I'll take it. I will take it. Anything else is total gravy. Vivid Voltage. Hmm. Will we pull the rainbow chocolate for my wife who still needs it? Got a Dreadnought Reverse. Nope. But we did pull an Angel Slash V. We'll take it. We might need it. I honestly don't know. Um, you'll know if I put it in the binder. But pretty cool. All right. And I had to get a Chilling Rain pack. I love Chilling Rain. I'm still missing a good handful of cards. Um, but my wife, for some reason today, 
told me don't buy any because there was a lot of chilling rain hits i needed uh they're all a kind of pricier because it's definitely got value on this set uh but she told me don't buy any chilling rain today so <laughs> don't know what that's about but i didn't buy any chilling rain singles because she told me not to all right last pack magic two venipedes into a lichen rock hollow okay not bad six packs of early sword and shield era getting a rainbow and a v we will take it um i hope you liked today's video y'all if you did please leave a like and comment down below subscribe if you are not we are so close to the thousand subscribers um and i might be planning that live stream soon even if we don't hit it um because i really want my uh pops to be a part of it and he lives out of state but he might be coming back into state soon. I don't know. It's not confirmed yet. If it is, I'll announce it. Uh, but that'd be a lot of fun. And if you want to see more videos where I'm going around to these uh, shows and not doing as much openings, but picking up a lot more singles, having fun, uh, let me know. But I hope y'all have a great rest of your day.